Right now, people are definitely very excited for the next upcoming Minecraft update, also known as 1.19. However, at the moment, we know very little about this update and what it could actually be. But in this video, we are going to be looking at the official Minecraft feedback website, where I have actually bunched together a bunch of things out there from the first page which means they are very likely to be added where I will be using this information to give you a good idea as to what could be coming in the next Minecraft update. This is going to be a big video everyone so if you do go on to enjoy it be sure you drop the video a like and subscribe if you are new around here for daily Minecraft content but without going on for any longer let's get right into the video. Now as I said I've been exploring the official Minecraft feedback website a lot recently and what I I actually did recently I went over there and I grouped a bunch of features together which I believe are very likely to be the next Minecraft update now just in case you do not know what the official Minecraft feedback website is it's basically a place where people can go and leave suggestions for things they would like to be added to the game where then the community can vote on them and the more votes they get obviously the more likely they are to be added to the game there's three main sections I'm going to be going over in this video and that is the wildlife update, the sky update and some kind of a crafters update. Now do not take any of this as 100% fact. I made these three updates up myself but I actually did this by using a bunch of very highly voted features on the Minecraft feedback website. You'll understand what I mean in a moment. Let's start off with the wildlife wildlife update which includes the fruits, trees and bushes update, seasons for mouse biomes, the oasis, the cherry blossom grove and rice. Now I believe all of these could fit nicely into some kind of a wildlife update or a farming update or an overworld update. Now the interesting thing about all of these features I just touched up on is that they were all very highly voted and from the very first page of the Minecraft feedback website I do think now is also a good time to mention that everything in these updates I'm going to be talking about is under review by Maljang, meaning Maljang have got them under their radar and they are actually considering adding them to the game. First off, as I mentioned, the fruits, trees and bushes. This is on the Minecraft feedback website with 28,519 votes and I believe what this would do is basically add the fruit, trees and fruit bushes to the game which would be incredible we've saw this in mods for minecraft in the past but i believe it'd be cool if they added apple trees and maybe pears um oranges a bunch of cool stuff like that where they could actually grow on trees and bushes it would make for a very awesome farming update and it would just make the minecraft world look so much brighter the next one is the seasons for mouse biomes update which has about 9,800 149 votes. This one's very simple, it would basically add seasons for most biomes, so that would be spring, summer, autumn and winter, the four main seasons, so um, I guess that if Let's take a plains biome for example, or actually no, a forest biome. I'm guessing it would go from spring where it's a bit rainy and damp to um, summer where it'd be very bright and hot and warm to then autumn where the trees would all go orange to then winter where things would get a bit snowy. I believe this could be awesome for some kind of an overworld or wildlife update. And do not forget all of this is under review. The next one is the oasis with 5,439 votes. Basically I think what this would add is some kind of a well oasis in the middle of the desert. This could have trees, water and it would basically be a bit of a break from the harsh environment of the desert where you could collect water and just have a bit of a good time in the desert. The next one is the cherry blossom grove with 
4,106 volts. I believe this would basically add cherry blossom trees to Minecraft and maybe it'd be some kind of a new dimension. This would basically add cherry blossom trees to the game which would be very nice. It's something we've all wanted for a very long time and this bit of colour to the Minecraft overworld would change up the game so much. And the final one is rice and this one may seem a bit out of nowhere but I think that the more things that get added for a farming update the better. And um, the suggestions on here for rice on the feedback website is awesome. It suggests maybe a lot of food could be made out of rice which would definitely be awesome and as I said it'd just be awesome to have something else which could be farmed in the game which would be good. I think farming is something very underrated in Minecraft. Let's now move on to the sky update which would bring elves, pet dragons, the sky dimension itself, more coloured elytras and shooting stars. Now as I said all of this does not mean a sky update necessarily but I think all of this would fit into a sky update very well. Now let's start off with elves. Elves are the most upvoted thing on here with 5,499 votes. Elves would literally be elves added to the game and I think this would be especially awesome because a lot of us have wanted more flying mobs in Minecraft for a very long time now. Maybe it could be a cool indicator of day and night as well and maybe I could have some kind of an interaction with the sky. The next one is pet dragons. We've talked about this one here before on the channel but basically dragons could be your pets. Definitely very awesome. This currently has 4612 votes on the Minecraft feedback website so that's definitely quite a lot and I think all of us would love to fly around a dragon in Minecraft. The next one is the sky dimension itself. Do not even get me started on this, it's something I've been wanting in Minecraft forever now. On the Minecraft feedback website this currently has 4416 votes so definitely quite a lot and this is basically if you do not know what the sky dimension is it's basically basically a play on an original dimension that was bit meant to be added to Minecraft a very long time ago now by Notch I believe so definitely a very OG idea. People are really starting to like the idea of this again and wanting it to be added to the game so hopefully we do see some kind of a sky dimension in Minecraft. The next one is a colour changing elytra where you could use different colours on an elytra to change the colour of it. This has 4,279 votes and the final one is shooting stars which would light up the night sky this has 3754 votes finally let's move on to the crafters update which I made include bed sheets with banner designs, concrete and terracotta slabs, stairs and walls and redstone on walls. Three very interesting things there but I hope it makes sense in a moment. Bed sheets with banner designs would make it a bit similar to shields how you can actually put a banner design on them. This currently has a lot of votes on the feedback website with 27,100. Basically as I said earlier this would allow you to put banner designs on bed sheets to basically make your own custom designs which would be awesome. Concrete and terracotta slabs, stairs and walls would basically add concrete and terracotta slabs, stairs and walls. It's quite straightforward but this would make the Minecraft world so much more colourful. Maybe this could also fit into a world of colour update part 2. On the feedback website this currently has 10,159 votes which is a lot and the final thing we're going to be talking about is the ability to add redstone on walls which has about 2,544 votes which is a lot. Now all of these features we talked about in this video today as I said would not necessarily be a part of a sky update, a wildlife update or a crafters update but using these features that I found and put together I think they would all fit into these updates very nicely. If you would put them into any other different updates or orders be sure you let me know down below in the comments and let me know which of these features we talked about in this video you would like to see added to Minecraft but yeah it's been me G for everyone have an amazing day and I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.